So here's the thing. I have a confession to make. I love buying games on the Nintendo eShop. Like, really, really love it. The shop itself fascinates me because of its vast number of titles, heavy discounts, and incredible variety of games. Playing games is my hobby, and I enjoy seeking out the weird, wonderful, bizarre, and even shockingly bad games on the Nintendo eShop. I spend a lot of time browsing the shop and spending my hard-earned coins on games that pique my interest for one reason or another. So in this series, I want to show you what's on my radar on the Nintendo eShop and why. I'm Tony Baker, and this is eShop Therapy. Today I have two games I want to show you. First up is Bit Orchard's Animal Valley. I think we all know how this one grabbed my attention in the eShop. Its Game Boy-esque art style jumped right out at me, and the fact that this new release had a launch discount of 70%, making it just two-ish dollars Canadian at the time of recording, meant it was worth at least a look from me. Bit Orchards is the perfect blend of charm and simplicity. The controls use the analog stick for movement, two face buttons, one for inventory and the other an action button, and one shoulder button for cycling through items. That's it! Oh, and the d-pad is used to cycle through outfits you can collect throughout the game. What you do in the game is pretty standard fare for a farming chore simulator. If you've ever played Stardew Valley, Harvest Moon, or even Animal Crossing, you'll know exactly what to do. But if you don't know where to start, you're provided with a handy checklist to get you going in the right direction. Basically, you go live on this orchard, you plant apple seeds, water the trees, and then harvest the apples from your orchard. Pretty chill stuff. There's plenty more to do, of course. Requests from a handful of town folks, plus fishing and decorating should keep your attention for a while. Now that being said, I don't think this game is going to be a particularly long one. You probably could complete it in about a few hours. But if you want some cute, cozy vibes and sweet, sweet Game Boy nostalgia and some chiptune bops, this one might be worth your time, especially if it's still on sale. Samurai Bringer is a rogue light action game set in ancient Japan. I'm not too clear on what the exact story is here, but from what I gather, you're a disgraced warrior god who has lost his powers and is trying to save some farmer's daughter to get his powers back from ancient evil in the process, maybe? But let's be honest, the story isn't why you're playing Samurai Bringer. The meat of this game is the combat. You battle waves of enemies and bosses to gain combat scrolls that grant you different skills and abilities. There seems to be a surprising level of depth here by specializing your skills and armor combinations. Now the rogue light nature of this game means you're going to be dying a lot, trust me. But with each run, you really do feel like you're getting stronger and making more progress. The reason that this game caught my eye initially is because of its art style. The characters are voxely and the environments and backgrounds are crisp and bright. The style of the menus and the UI elements kind of remind me of something you'd see back in the day on the Super Nintendo in a JRPG. I'm getting some real strong Final Fantasy vibes from that look. The game is presented in an almost top-down view, but at an angle. Sometimes that can make it difficult to see enemies or chests hiding in the corners of the map, but you're able to rotate the camera to get a little more perspective, which is nice. The music is also great. Hearing some of these chip tunes really makes me think of Mega Man or something in that style. The game really does do a great job of timing the music cues to different events in the gameplay. Like, listen to that battle theme. So familiar, right? It reminds me of something that I really can't put my finger on. If it reminds you of a soundtrack in a game, let me know in the comments below. Lastly, this game is difficult, and it is going to take many, 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 many runs to get it right. One thing I did see is that the devs have been posting under the news section on the Nintendo Switch main menu with tips and tricks and even updates that they're going to do like bug fixes and game adjustments. I was really taken aback to see a dev post this kind of roadmap and tricks to help out their players. That's a big plus in my eyes. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, then Samurai Bringer might be worth a look. And there you have it, two very different games, both with great art styles and wonderful chiptune music. Let me know what you think of Samurai Bringer and Bit Orchard Animal Valley in the comments below, and please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, let the quest continue.